Well, guys, it seems like it never stops, does it? The uh, anti-gun movement just never stops. We're, we're bouncing from California to New York now. The New York State Attorney General, Letitia James, announced the lawsuit against 80% frame manufacturers or parts kit manufacturers uh, in New York City today. Now, this report comes from Ammo Land, by the way. You always want to check out AmmoLand.com for some really good news. The lawsuit claims that these online firearms retailers are causing a public nuisance by selling what she refers to as ghost guns. The companies in the suit are Arms or Ally LLC, Blackhawk Manufacturing Group, 80% Arms, ADP Freedom Company, Brownells, The Glock Store, Indy Guns, KM Tactical Primary Arms, Rainier Arms, and Rock Slide USA. In this particular case, New York State alleges that it was able to determine these companies ship 80% firearms kits into the state. The lawsuit claims that some of the recipients of these products, of these 80% kits, the recipients were prohibited people. Well, it's not up to these companies to determine if these are prohibited people because these were not firearms that they were selling to these people and the ATF ruling has not been finalized either. So even the ATF, even though they want to, has still not acknowledged or claimed rather that 80% were firearms anyway. So it was not the responsibility or the chore of these selling companies to determine if people were potential felons or prohibited persons within the state of, uh, state of New York. Oddly enough, the state, which is overreaching in this case, is wanting the companies to pay restitution to the state for violating state law and divest from any profits made from the sale of these kits. The AG also demands that the targeted companies pay all the legal fees associated with the case, and they also demand that the named companies turn over all customer records for the last five years. So all customer records for every 80% parts kit that has been sold within the state of New York, the AG wants all those sales records. Somebody's telling somebody using legal words in this to go pound sand right now. They're finding a much nicer way to say it, but they're essentially going to be telling the AG and the state of New York to pound sand in some really colorful, flowery language. Guys, this Supreme Court ruling last week has really pissed off these wacko anti-gun people. What they're going to do is they are going to litter the courts with frivolous lawsuits to try their best to keep people from hitting them with lawsuits that they're going to be hit with because they're not going to comply or they're not wanting to comply with the Supreme Court ruling last week. New York has already pretty much said that they're going to do whatever they want to do. So they're trying to clog up the court system with all these other stupid frivolous lawsuits thinking that maybe it's just not going to ever happen, that people won't have a chance to file suit against them for being wrong after the, the Supreme Court decision. I have news for them. The American people have pretty much had enough. Nothing's going to stop Americans from suing states like California and New York over their continued infringement against their Second Amendment rights, especially now that they have a Supreme Court ruling to protect them from it.